What's up everyone? It's Ice Man Oz, aka Jay, straight from the places of kangaroos and in chill living room. Here today I'm back with another Battlefield 4 gameplay for you guys, and today I've got my weapon review of the M16A4. So back in Battlefield 3, it was a really good weapon. Um, for burst firing at medium and long range, it was an absolute beast, and there is no exception with Battlefield 4. Being one of the very few burst fire weapons in the game, um, it is really a rare weapon to have. Um, a very nice weapon to use, um, very easy to control. I notice when using it that it goes kind of kicks up and to the right, so it has some sort of weird recoil pattern. Um, you definitely want to control the muzzle drift, you definitely want to control the recoil, and if you can, at medium range, this thing is almost unbeatable. Remember that it is burst fire, so even though it does have 800 rounds per minute, it isn't actually putting out um, that RPM in terms of actual speed and time to kill. That is something you've got to keep in mind. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to go into the weapon customization and we're going to try and remove some of that recoil with the weapon. Um, so, yeah, let's get right into that. Okay, guys, so here we are in the weapon customization. Uh, we'll select the M16A4. So for the optic, I've chosen to go with the Reflex RDS. Uh, for me, it seems to be the best sight for the M16A4. You can go with the Coyote RDS just because it's easier to see people in your peripheral vision with the Coyote. It takes up less of your screen. You can go with the Cobra RDS, which is the fastest to go into its sights in the entire game in terms of optics. For the accessory, I've chosen to go with the laser sight. I haven't unlocked the laser light combo. You can go with that, but uh, a sneaky one you could go with the green laser sights so you aren't seen by enemies as much so you don't have that huge red glint on you. Uh, for the barrel I've chosen to go with the muzzle brake uh, just because it reduces that um, upturn of recoil uh, and you definitely want to have that on there. And for the underbarrel I've chosen to go with the angled grip which removes first shot recoil by 33%. You need to have this on the M16A4 for it to really remove that recoil. When you put both of those attachments on um, the recoil is pretty much eradicated and for the paint let's just go this one looks pretty cool yeah, I think that one's, the, that one's awesome. So, after putting those attachments on, I noticed that there was a significant difference in the weapon. Once it being a huge weapon that just kicks a ton up and to the right, with those attachments, it really became settled. And it was one of those weapons where I was like, okay, now I can use this, this thing is legit, and let's get into it. And after that, I just went on an absolute tear. Um, the gameplay you're watching is, I think it's like a 14-0 gameplay. After that, I got like a 26. 6-0 gameplay. It was just insane. Um, <laughs> it was just like a huge wrecking ball, so to speak. Uh, see, I keep up with the times. Wrecking ball. That's 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 a popular song. I know. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was just a just a huge improvement into the weapon. Um, and the thing about the M4 and the M46. I almost said M416. The M16A4. They get confused very easily. Is that it's a lot like the weapon back in Battlefield 3 of the M16A3 in terms of look. It's, it's practically the same weapon, rate of fire is the same, the one difference being that it's burst fire. So if you enjoyed the M16A3 back in Battlefield 3, I think the M16A4 could work for you. You just got to get used to the burst fire, but once you get used to that, it can be very good for you. I want you to tell me in the comments section below what you think of the M16A4. Do you like it? Are you into burst fire weapons? It's not for everyone, but if you can get used to it, and, and one one more important thing that I'd like to point out, stand still. If you're maneuvering and, you know, jumping up and down and coming from games like Call of Duty where it's, it's good to dodge and weave, it's not good to do that in Battlefield 4. You definitely don't want to do that uh, with the M16A4. You want to stand still, burst fire, be, try and be as accurate as possible with this thing because that's where this weapon really, really shines. Um, so, yeah. Tell, again, tell me what you think of the M16A4 in the comments section below. Um, one more thing. I'd like you guys to follow me on Twitter at Iceman Oz. The link will be in the description. Um, I respond to all my comments on there, all my messages. So if you want to say anything to me, if there's a weapon you'd like me to review, anything like that, go to Twitter, tweet it at me, and I'll be sure to respond. But that's pretty much it for me, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and peace.